Hello, everyone. This is News Now from the Belmont Journal and our weekly segment with Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian. And I'm your host, Mike Crowley. Today, we have a number of items in the news, Franklin. Yes. So uh, for starters, um, you know, one Belmont teacher has won an important award, and maybe you can fill us in on that. It is uh, Suzanne Subjuski. (laughs) <laughs> Lynn, who's an eighth grade uh, educator at uh, the Chenery, and she won a very prestigious award from the National History Day uh, competition, which is a which is uh, which is a national competition um, uh, and a, now an international competition where uh, students put put together a um, a presentation. It can be anything from uh, a research paper to um, uh, video to um, uh, 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 poster boards uh, and. Um, She's been doing this for almost all of her 26 years in Belmont. Uh, and uh, she received the um, uh, Patricia Baring uh, Award for, uh, ju- for the junior division, which is uh, sixth to eighth grade. And she um, uh, was honored um, among 54 other teachers who were, who were selected for by their state organizations. Um, she also receives a, a, a rather nice $10,000 gift with that. That uh, is very nice. Uh, She said uh, when she first heard about this, she said her first reaction was she burst out into tears. She said, said, the women of my family are happy criers and I'm so honored to be chosen. And I think what she, uh, when I asked her um, a series of questions, she uh, she made a very uh, uh, astute uh, comment in which, you know, there's so much, uh, um, so much, there's so many demands on uh, the middle school curriculum, um, you know, especially with, with the emphasis on STEM and math classes, advanced math classes. And I asked her, why does history matter? And she says, you know, by studying history, students learn about cause and effect, how to have civil discourse and how to ele- ele- elevate and make arguments. And that's something that's really needed today. And I think she brought what the uh, social sciences are still, why they're still important and why liberal education just does not include uh, uh, math courses and science courses. Well, it's it's certain it's certainly great for for Ms. Z and um, <laughs> uh, an important honor as well for Belmont. So, Franklin, um, I understand there are a number of updates related to sports. That's correct. Uh, first off, we'll. Uh, 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 our rugby boys rugby team, uh, unfortunately, uh, were, were defeated in a uh, in a semifinal match with uh, BC High, who their their uh, long standing rivals. Um, uh, and it's kind of unfortunate because uh, both Belmont and I believe Mil- Milton High School uh, finished the season undefeated, and uh, you know, and, and it basically came down to a coin flip: who was going to be the number one or number two seed. And since Belmont lost the coin flip, they had a uh, they had to um, uh, uh, play against uh, the better the 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 better uh, third seed rather than the fourth seed. So uh, they got the short stick, and unfortunately, they uh, they were they were defeated by BC High, which Belmont uh, beat in the earlier uh, this year. Okay. And also, let me just talk about Sarah Firth, a uh, senior graduating senior from uh, Belmont High School. She repeated um, as the uh, female uh, pole vault um, uh, champion at, at all states, which means it's not just the North or the South uh, sectionals. She won for, for the entire state uh, with, a, with a height of, uh, of 11, six, 11 feet, six inches. Uh, she, uh, like I said, repeated her title, which unfortunately was canceled uh, last year. So it's been, a, it's been, she had to wait two years to defend her title, but she did so. And uh, she was the only uh, person the only vaulter to uh, clear uh, all her heights up, up until 12 foot on the first on the first uh, jump. So That's she's amazing. very, very impressive. And Franklin, um, let's talk about Beatrice Circle, um, a development that has raised a number of concerns um, in Belmont. Um, what can you what can you tell us? Well, as, as, as I said last week, there was um, um, a meeting uh, of the plan of the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals in which there were a number of concerns that the, that the residents are still um, um, are still worried about, let's say. Um, uh, uh, and there, it's just a number of concerns. Um, and uh, what we heard from the uh, um, 
um, from the select board is that there's going to be an official uh, delay in, in, in the process. Basically, they're going, I, it, it, almost certainly it sounds like they're going to be doing some um, work behind the scenes to try to, you know, figure out how to do, you know, what, 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 what more issues are out there. I think I said last week, that uh, the building itself and the landscaping that's been going pretty well, and the peer reviewer who uh, is review is an independent reviewer who's looking at uh, both sides of the uh, issues said, you know, that's, they're going well on those two. The one that's really uh, concerning um, uh, the peer reviewer is uh, the civic engineering, meaning like the ledge that's out there. There's going to be a lot of things that in terms of uh, a storm water management. So I think that's the reason why they're going to have a delay. It's like a little bit of a cooling off period. It allows them to talk, you know, behind, not behind the scenes, but talk uh, privately and see how they can uh, negotiate um, or, or try to uh, make this a uh, better project. You know, so Franklin, the, Franklin, I wanted to the, ask, Franklin, yeah, I wanted to ask, are we likely to see big changes in the project? Well, we have been seeing um, uh, changes. Um, uh, they've been moving uh, the, the buildings uh, further uh, further from the plot line. They're trying to put more green space. So they're listening to some of the, the issues that have been brought forward. Um, uh, but still, I think it's the uh, the uh, the, uh, the the engineering that's that's the big issue. And the, you know how much because they're they're because this this space no longer has. A, a lot of open space, like it, it was at one time, or it still is, um, a single family house. Now they're going to build a lot more property. They're going to build on a lot more of the property, which means a lot more of the water that would have been going into the ground is now being swept, you know, into the into the um, into the stormwater system. Can it hold it? Does the ledge have to be? You know, there's a ledge that you know with a single family house you didn't have to worry about. Now you have a uh, building. You now you have structures that are going up to the edge of that cliff, that small cliff, How, you know, can that be done? Can you, can you reinforce it? There's, gonna, there's a lot of little issues, not little issues for the neighbors, but issues that still have to be resolved. Maybe this is a better, better way of doing it, having a cooling off period, let people do it, you know, um, between, just between the two people rather than having the public, you know, viewing everything what's going on. All right, so no construction um, anytime in the immediate future. That's right. Well, we should see something, I would think, until the sub sometime in September, as always. Okay. All right, and so um, lastly, Franklin, um, you know, one might get the impression that um, uh, the town is emptying out for the summer. Is there any truth to that? Belmont does empty out in the, <laughs> in the summer. Uh, the town clerk, Ellen O'Brien Cushman, once told me that about after school ends, uh, up until about the first week in September, about 10% of the, of the town basically goes on vacation or, you know, God knows where they go. Um, but they're out of town and um, there's it's even a higher percentage, um, you know, in the in the real vacation time in, in late August or, or uh, uh, late July, early August. Um, it's just one of those things that you can, you, you can tell simply by going to Belmont Center or any of the uh, business uh, hubs uh, and just see that there's just no activity or le much less activity than there used to be. I mean, I saw it at uh, both Starbucks, just no one there on Sunday. All right, Franklin. Well, thank you so much. And you can get more news from Franklin Tucker and the Belmontonian at belmontonian.com. You've been watching the Belmont Journal News Now. I'm Mike Crowley, and we'll see you next time.